So this same period is the, really the beginning of that great 19th century wave of European immigration, which really sort of begins to accelerate, uh, again, after the end of the Napoleonic Wars, when shipping is reestablished to Europe, and that encourages more trade, more commerce, but also encourages an easier movement of people. Um, the um, first groups of people who come in large numbers to the United States in the 19th century are really the same groups who were already coming in the colonial period. Uh, British come in very large numbers, but the people who became the first target for, this, for the idea that immigration was a danger to the cohesion of, of society were Irish people and, and Germans. Um, the, Irish people, in, as many of you know, were targets of particular form of anti-immigrant, of nativist sentiment, because they had two strikes against them. Right? In a mainly British society, they were Irish, yeah. and they were Catholic, right? in a mainly Protestant society, which harbored enormous memories, sort of folk memories, of the issues of the Reformation. That, that prejudice against Catholicism will linger in, much, in areas in the United States, we actually really until very recently, until almost close to the present. Um, between 1830 and 1860, about 1.6 million Germans came to the United States, about 750,000 British people, and most significantly, about 1.9 million Irish. This wave had already started before the potato famines, which the potato blight, which hits Ireland very badly, but hits other areas of Europe, including parts of Germany. Um, it's already underway, and that just it magnifies it. Okay. Um, a place like New York okay, uh, was already 45% foreign-born by 1870. And that's not that atypical for American cities at the period. By 1860, it was about 48%. Philadelphia was about 30% foreign-born. St. Louis, about 60%. So again, you know, the sense that this is a society that just, I don't know where I am, I don't know if it's new people coming in, everyone's all crunched on top of each other, and they're all people who don't like one another. 